December 1st is the meteorological start of winter. Yes, uh, we, we lump months together, you know, in terms for meteorological winter, December, January, February, those are the months that everybody thinks of. And we're going into what's probably going to be a strong El Nino. So as uh, part of today's Beyond the Barometer, I'm going to take a look at what happens when we have a strong El Nino and what our winters look like here in Madison. So uh, let's take a look. First of all, again, El Nino is a warming of the waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean uh, west of South America. Right Right now, those waters are running about two degrees Celsius above normal. That's the threshold for a strong El Nino, and it might go up a little bit more before those uh, temperatures start to fall. Usually, as we get into uh, the uh, the time around, uh, say January, or February, that shifts the jet stream northward, at least uh, the polar jet stream, keeping colder air mainly up to the north in Canada. The subtropical jet stream down to the south brings a lot of the moisture uh, to the south, southern part of the country, so that usually leaves us mild and dry. So, what happens when we have strong El Nino? winters. Well, let's take a look at them. Uh, the last one was in uh, the 2015-2016 uh, winter. Our temperatures, two and a half, uh, degree, almost three degrees above normal, and almost 16 inches below normal as far as snowfall. Now, the one before that, 1997-98, notice temperatures were below normal, and snowfall was above normal. So this is not a sure thing, but that was one of the outliers, and I'll talk about that in just a, a little bit here. But the one before that, 91, 92, temperatures well above normal, snowfall well below normal. The one before that, 87, 88, temperatures almost six degrees above normal, snowfall a little bit below normal, and 82, 83, almost five degrees above normal temperatures, and 18 inches below normal on snowfall. Now, the, the 97, 98 one, I should mention, we had a big snowstorm in December. We had December snowfall was about 20 inches above normal. So we had snow on the ground, and January and February, those two months had below normal temperatures. Out of all of those years, those were the only two months that in meteorological winter we had temperatures above normal during the winter. Hmm. The, uh, and take a look at the Climate Prediction Center outlook. This was the earlier one, but now with the um, El Nino sh uh, shaping up and very little snow on the ground, this is the new outlook for December, calling for above normal temperatures almost across the entire country with the highest probabilities here. Uh, precipitation expected to be above normal in the southeastern part of the country. That's the old outlook. This is the new one. That hasn't changed very much. But again, it just you know goes to show that you know you get into a warmer than normal pattern. You don't have snow on the ground. It just kind of you know feeds on itself and. That's probably what's going to happen. Again, not a for sure thing like we saw, you know, in that winter of 97, 98. But and what's uh, the normal snowfall for the year? Normally, we well, for the winter, for, for December, January, and February, we get about 38 inches of snow. Okay. So when you're 18 inches below. <laughs> that's, well, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it could be a big deal for skiers and right. snowmobilers. And what, it was an El Nino year when the Berkebiner was canceled. I remember that. Yeah, so, so you know, I mean, those are, yeah. you know, that's... Yeah, not a for sure thing, but very high signs that we will probably have a mild and drier winter. And we haven't had one in six years. This is the first time. Well, in six strong years. El Nino's. We've had weaker ones. I mean, the last couple of years have actually been La Nina years, yeah. and those have been relatively weak, too. So. Interesting. All right, well, time will tell. We, we'll see. We'll see. Thank Thanks, you, Gary. Gary. Okay.